Assalamu alaikum my dear students how are you hope all of you are fine alhamdulillah i am also fine now we are doing bgst class this class is for class 9 and 10 and especially this class is for class 9 it is a new chapter for them and as we have finished our um, pre-test syllabus of class 9 so they can do this chapter as their um, as their revision class um, the, uh, the chapter is uh, 9 the united nations and bangladesh uh, and we know that we are just 190 one of the 195 countries uh, uh, of the world um, and our world needs uh, cooperation brotherhood and fellow feeling and uh, side by side we can tell that no man can be fully developed without human rights human rights means having ownership of privileges and opportunities of a human being for his survival we know in the last century two world war took place uh, took place and millions of people who had died and devastation and destruction of the world war made the human being sincerely uh, desire uh, desirous for peace and harmony in this chapter we will know about uh, United Nations and role of Bangladesh in the United Nations. My dear student, now I will discuss what was the uh, background of establishing the United Nations. We know that two world war took place in the world in last century. War cannot be solution of any crisis. It caused terrific devastation and immeasurable crisis, suffering, anxiety for the mankind. In the history of 20th century uh, we know the first world war took place in 1940 to 1990 and 1919 and second world war took place in 1939 to 1945 after the first world war uh, the league of nations was formed on january 10 1922 1920 in order to maintain international peace and sec uh, security um, security after the first world war but what we can see this league of nations failed to serve the purpose as a result second world war took place again the destruction of second world war engulfed the whole world millions of people were died um, many of them were injured and crippled and became homeless. The awful situation caused by the Second World War made the world panicked. The world leadership felt the necessity of a new international organization to maintain peace and security under these circumstances. In 1943, conferences were held in Tehran and Moscow among four uh, four major power those four major power were uk russia usa and france france and all of them came into a conclusion to form a united nations then the united nations came into being on 24th october 1945 united nations was formed in 1945-24 October. That is why every year United Nations Day is observed uh, on 24th October. All independent states are the member of UN. We know there are four main organs of United Nations. Those are General Assembly, Security Council, Trusteeship Council, Economic and Social Council, International Court of Justice. First one is General Assembly. General Assembly is where the member nations meet to discuss and cast vote. Each session is held once in a year and it is a very important as, uh, organ of UN. Another name of General Assembly is Deliberate Assembly. Security Council. Security Council is another very important council and it is responsible for peacekeeping and defense. There are five main permanent members. Those are UK, USA, Russia, China, France. And there are also 
टेन टेम्पोररी मेम्बर अफ सिक्यूरिटी काउन्सिल इट द सिक्यूरिटी काउन्सिल हेज वेट अफ पावर द फाइव मेन मेम्बर दे कैन डिनाइ एनी प्रपोजल टेबल्ड बै जेनेरल एसेम्ले एंड देन ट्रांसटीशिप काउन्सिल इट इज नो लंगार नो लंगार एक्जिस्ट इट पार्पास वाज टू हेल्प द निू नेशन टू गेट इंडिपेन्डेंस आफ्टर दें दैट इज इकोनॉमिक एंड सोशल काउन्सिल इट्स एम इज टू इम्प्रूव इकोनॉमिक डेवलपमेंट एंड एंड पवर्टी एंड अनएमप्लयमेंट एंड मेनी टाइप अफ प्रब्लेम इकोनॉमिकल प्रब्लेम दे गिव सल्यूशन इंटरनेशनल कोर्ट अफ जस्टिस द हेड क्वार्टर अफ इंटरनेशनल कोर्ट अफ जस्टिस इज इन हेग अफ नेदरलैंड एक्सक्यूज मे and it it resolves dispute between member countries we know in 2012 bangladesh owned its case against myanmar about the right in the bay of bengal now my dear student you have a sw that is learn and write about five main organs of un in detail you will write in your sw copy now i hope alhamdulillah uh, you have understood and it is very easy topic please read it again and again it will be more clarified to you no more today next class i will come to you with the next lesson till then allah hafiz